Hey guys, so Black Dog Bob here. <clears throat> Drinking coffee tonight. This is the commemorative mug from my one of my dachshunds, Kramer. He was a great dog. Had him a little over 11 years. He passed away um, two years ago, December 28th. So, no, it's been longer than that. It was December 28th of 20... I'm sorry. November 28th of 20... 17 so three and a half years he's been gone oh it's a great dog man it took me years to get get over that hey listen no black dog bob here minotaur trading company mri nation and mri info today i had to make a cheat sheet <clears throat> for my video because there is a ton to go over you're not going to want to miss this guys i am telling you just an absolute ton of information contest giveaways new products Update on the Golden Ticket Ration Contest, where we're at with order fulfillment. Many meetups, got six of them scheduled, guys. Some new rations, some retro rations, some new tins, and a huge coupon code. So, you don't want to miss this one. It's going to be a little bit long. Buckle up, get your coffee or your root beer, bag of popcorn, sit down, hit play, and let's get on with it. So, first, uh, back on April 29th, we started running the new mystery boxes. Speaking of which, and that's not on my list. Um, folks, we had a huge order coming over the weekend. A prepper community. I can't tell you where they're from, but a prepper community uh, that's been buying from us for a while now. There's a little over 140 families in the prepper community. Um, we talked on the phone for probably an hour and a half on uh, Saturday. They had their meeting Saturday night. They had me call in for their meeting. They had me on speakerphone. We talked about current events, updates, things going on talked about the golden ticket rations we talked about our mystery boxes they committed to 400 of the small mystery boxes 400 of the medium mystery boxes and 400 of the large mystery boxes so it was a pretty pretty daggum good sale i needed it i was super happy for it they also bought five pallets of our golden ticket um uh, mystery rations right so they're coming down Thursday to get that. I've gone ahead and updated the website already. That left us somewhere around eight, 900 of the golden ticket rations. The way we did those productions is every 1,000, we did five 1,000 unit productions. We put 20% uh, of all of the winning certificates into each of those five productions, right? We've already had one golden ticket claimed. They bought five pallets. There's 600 to a pallet, so it's 3,000 rations. So that's three more claimed. There's only one more out there. They do not want to participate in the contest, so I still got to get all that figured out somehow because uh, I've got another contest winner. So one of the things that we decided to do is in the remaining, I think it's like, I don't know, I don't even think it's 700 left. We got somewhere around six, 700, maybe 800 left. What we've decided to do is instead of giving away um, a big 5000 I think it was, or $3,000 uh, gift certificate to the winner of the contest, the big winner overall with the five different challenges or four different challenges, instead what we're doing is in the remaining golden ticket rations, and guys, I'm telling you, there's like six or 700 left. You have to get on the website and check it out. There's, you know what, just hold on. I'll be right back. This is pretty important, so I want to make sure I give you the accurate numbers because these odds are just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Where's my golden ticket? Uh, search golden. Here we go. There's 623 left. So out of the remaining 623, there is still one unclaimed gold ticket for $500. I'm going to put in three 623 remaining i'm putting in three platinum one thousand dollar gift certificates into the remaining 623 so you got like one in 200 odds of winning a thousand dollar gift certificate so that's pretty cool and we'll figure out the whole contest thing we've got our judges we got a uh, uh, ruler yaks a judge old Smokey's a judge uh g schultz is a judge so we got some great judges we'll figure out how we're going to do the contest you know we might just do I don't know. We'll get it figured out somehow, right? Um, it obviously won't be two weekends from now. So we'll get something figured out. We'll let you know, hopefully by the end of the week on that. 
But super exciting. Now the remaining 623, there's still one, one there's still one five hundred dollar gold ticket, and we put in we're putting in three one thousand dollar platinum tickets. So if I was you, I wouldn't wait. I'd jump on the website and buy those uh, golden ticket rashes. Now actually, I would wait to the end of the video because I'm putting everything on sale tonight, giving you a big coupon code. So hold off until you get the coupon code. Order fulfillment. So look, guys, story time, right? MRE Nation started in August of 2018. Minotaur Trading Company started in August of 2019. Um, since starting, MRE Nation has had around 66, 6,700 orders. Uh, Minotaur Trading Company, I think we're up to 54, 5,500 now. So figure roughly 12,000 orders uh, since we opened, you combined since we opened the company. Uh, since we opened the first company back uh, August of 2018. Um, but Minotaur Trading Company, 5,500 orders, right? Actually, no, because we started on order number 1,001. So 4,400 orders since Minotaur started, 56, 5,700 orders since MRA Nation started, because it started on order number 1,001. So let's look at Minotaur for a second. 22 months now, 20... 4, 12, 16, and 5. So 21 months. We're in our 21st month of business with Minotaur. In that time, we've processed, we've received over 4,600 orders. Okay? When New Year's kicked around, we were around 25, 2,600. So half of the orders we've received since the company opened have come in in the last four and a half months. But over 25% of those have come in in the last little over three weeks, right? So since I started the first promo where we did the 35% off on April 29th, um, since we started that, we've received over 25%, almost 30% of the total number of orders that our company's had since we opened. To put that in different terms, we typically process about 150 to 200 orders a week, Okay. In the last three weeks, we had one day where we received over 350 orders in one day. That four-day weekend, we received over 890 orders. That was two weeks after receiving over 600 orders in a single weekend, guys. So we've been receiving about three to four times the number of orders that we're used to processing. So yeah, we got a little bit behind. Most of y'all pretty patient about it. Two of you weren't. I dig it. I'm fine with that. I would like to remind you, though, that my website is www.mrenation.com and www.minotartradingcompany.com. They don't even sound like www.amazon.com. We're not Amazon. We don't offer two-day order fulfillment. It's just not the way it is. So we do our best. We get a little behind. But let's face it, guys. You know, we're we have been creating since we started some of the biggest, baddest, most awesome rations that the community has ever seen, right? So all of that takes time. Demand is high. Supply is low. We're dealing with shortages from our suppliers. I mean, Lord alive, we ran out of boxes the other day. We used to be able to call up and say, hey, I need another thousand boxes. I'd have them the next day. Now I called up and said, I need 400 boxes immediately and another thousand next week. And they're like, yeah, we can get you 1400 in three weeks. Everything slowed up. The cost of everything has gone up. My, my cost of product has almost doubled. My overhead has gone up by over 50%. And we still haven't raised our prices yet. In fact, I keep putting stuff on sale. So, yeah, when, you, when we get that many orders in, and I'm telling you guys, I love y'all. I'm not complaining. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But it takes some time to, to cover that, right? So I covered, oh, we got to give some away. I forgot the contest giveaway. So anyhow, getting back to it, on the 29th when we launched our mystery boxes, uh, the following video, like a week or so later, uh, maybe a week and a half, I told y'all that uh, we had one person that had bought five of the large mystery boxes and said, Bob, I want to raise some money for the police officer who lost his wife and he's in the hospital. I want to help with his medical bills. Don't send me the five mystery boxes. Do a contest. I decided I would match those five, so we're giving away 10 mystery boxes. I'm about to pull the winners out of this box. I shouldn't be looking at it. I'm about to pull the winners out of this box. Uh, 
if you had put in a $10 tip for every $10 community contribution you purchased or $10 tip you purchased to go to the community contributions uh, through the tip jar, you, ha you got one chance to win. And we had people that bought 10 chances. So pretty cool. I'm going to draw 10 names. Those are the 10 people that, that are getting uh, free large mystery boxes shipped to them. The first one is Becky Stern. And remember, guys, you can win multiple times because every $10 contribution you did, you got a name in the bucket. So the first one goes to Becky Stern. The second one goes to, guys, I'm telling you, you hit 50, you can't see squat. Chris B Bjorn, 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 I guess, Chris Bjorn. Hey, remember, I'm only shipping this here in the continental United States. So if you're outside the continental United States, we got to talk about shipping. Next one goes to Bob Wilkie, Bob Wilkie. Number four, Mr. Sean Unger. Mr. Sean Unger is our fourth winner. Six more to go. Who's this? Mr. John Masters. Well, it would have been funny if it had been a woman after I called him Mr., huh? Uh, Howard, Ar no, Arik Howard. So that's number six. Got six winners so far. Arik Howard was number six. Bullock. Michael Bullock. Bullock? Bullock? Man, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Bullock. Michael Bullock is number seven. Number eight is Bob Wilkie won a second one. It's number eight. Number nine is Janie Dudley. You know, guys, I got to tell you, Janie Dudley is just an awesome human being. I'm so happy to have her as a customer. I'm so happy to count her as a community member. You're all awesome. Don't, don't take that wrong. But Janie Dudley, she's always willing to help out. Arik Howard, you want a second one? Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, so we got our ten winners. Bob Wilkie, he won twice, I think. Yep, there's his second one. Arik Howard won twice. Congratulations, Arik. Uh, Chris Bjorn won. Janie Dudley. Sean Unger. Becky Stern. John Masters. And Mr. Michael Bullock. You're all winners. Uh, look, I still got like 110 orders to fill. That's why I'm working so late on a Monday night. Trying to get another 20, 25 out before I call it a night. These probably aren't going to go out to the end of the week, guys. Maybe even next week. i got to get all these on the orders caught up first. But we will keep you set off the side. We'll be sending you large mystery boxes. We're covering the shipping, everything. Congratulations to all the winners. Super excited for you. All right, what do we got next? So we did the contest giveaway. We talked about the order of fun with the Golden Ticker Rash and the mini meetups. So, just to give you all a heads up, the six locations, the six states we're doing mini meetups in this year. This year, 2021. Look, there's no sense in trying to get everybody to come to Kentucky, right? I've hosted two meetups now. The first one was in, in um, uh, Virginia at the Prepper Show there. Um, that was back in October of 2016. Had a blast. Uh, it's the first time all any of us got together other than the mini meetup of a couple of us in Minnesota the month before second meetup was in august i think it was july august of 2019 wow so much has changed in the world since then so here's what we decided to do you know a lot of states are still closed down people are having a hard time traveling stuff so we picked six states my wife and i were going back on the road we're gonna let zach and justin and everybody here handle things while we're on the road it's gonna be super good time i'm gonna be reviewing rations and some of our survival equipment on the road but we've chosen six states, right? So for the Northeast, we're doing a mini meetup in Pennsylvania. In the Southeast, we're doing a mini meetup in here in Kentucky. In the North Central U.S., we're doing Minnesota. In the South Central U.S., Arkansas. Um, in the Northwest, Idaho. And in the Southwest, Vegas, baby. Vegas, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Probably going to be doing Vegas in December. What better time to go to Vegas, right? So six mini meetups. I'll post them at some point in time on the, the website, on Minotaur Trading Company's website. Um, and once we've got locations locked down, I still have to find places to do these at, right? We're looking at a couple hotels to get the meeting rooms. 
Um, but we tried picking areas that we wouldn't have a big issue with the whole COVID thing because some states still, still seem to think it's a, a big deal. So let's talk about our new rations, guys. So <clears throat> on the 29th, I told you we still had a couple in the pipeline. We had our May specials and our June specials. Um, some of our June specials came in early. Some of our May specials got delayed. So, you know, we're, and we're even, we're way late on our, on our May specials, but we had so many sales going and we got so many orders to fill. I don't really feel it was right when I'm coming in in the morning and seeing over 600 orders to fulfill to do another promo, right? I wanted to get all those orders down. So, but the May specials, we have four May special Arctic field rations. Now guys, if you check the website, you're going to find there's very little there in the way of rations. Mo the majority of our rations went into uh, mystery boxes and variety cases and stuff. Uh, I got in another batch of Bob's Breakfast Bowl. Um, we got some more of the German beef with spatzel and mushroom sauce. Y'all seem to like that. Uh, I've got a, a batch of the elk casserole coming. So there, there are some rations on the website that are not May special rations. But on the May special rations, we have four single meals, one 24-hour ration. There's only 100 of each of the single meals. And the 24-hour ration, there's only 60 of them on the website. They are on the website. By the time this video uploads, they'll be on the website. So you'll want to check those out, right? Um, there's not going to be any more, right? There's Once these are gone, they're gone. Uh, we've got the June specials coming. Once the June specials are gone, they're gone. We don't have any more Arctic field rations in the pipeline or plan for the near future, right? We're talking, I know I'm not going to do any in July. I know I'm not going to do any in August. So at the earliest, once these are gone at the earliest, you can't get any Arctic field rations until September. And September is a huge maybe, guys. They just take so much time, right? So anyhow, let me, let me show you what we got. Everybody seemed to like Old Smokey's idea on the steak and mac and cheese, so it hit it real well in the Aries. By the way, guys, on the website, we found like, I don't know, 15 or 20 atlases in the back when we were building all of these uh, mystery boxes, and we found another 23, I think it was, maybe 29 of the Aries. Um, I've got a whole bunch of the Aries being shipped out tomorrow, so look, guys, I'm down to like 102, 101 orders to fill. A lot of those are Aries. A lot of those are the uh, the five-man rations. They, these take about 15 to 20 minutes just to get wrapped in paper and taped up and get the appropriate card and the weights and the shipping and everything. So we did put those off to last. We had to do triage with all of these orders that we had in. So, But they are coming. They're coming. Hopefully, we'll have everything caught up by tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, but realistically, it's looking like Wednesday morning before we're caught up through Friday of last week. Anyhow, everybody seemed to like the steak and mac and cheese, so we've got that. There's 100 of these. Two drink mixes. All of our May special AFRs, two drink mixes, a dessert, a side, a snack, um, a bread item. We're using the new crackers, which I'll be showing you here in a minute. Um, a spread and either a hot sauce or some type of spice. Um, and yeah, that's it. So steak and mac and cheese is one of our May specials. The second one, my, oh my God, this is so good. Every time we try a sample of something, right, we mix up a batch and everybody kind of takes a bite and then somebody decides they want to eat it, right? And I'm never the one to go, hey, I'm, I'm finishing this until the Justin's hot pot, chicken hot pot, man, it is out of this world. His mastery of spices mixed with the cream sauce. Oh, it's so good. Anyhow, Justin's Chicken Hot Pot, May special. It's on the website now. Again, two drink mixes, mixes snack, dessert, side, bread, spread, um, the main, all that kind of good stuff. The accessory kit, whole nine yards. The third, and I'm pretty excited about this one too. This is another one of Justin's creation. It's amazing what this guy can do. You give him a bunch of freeze-dried components, man, and he just... He impresses me. He really does. He impresses me, right? But the third May special is the Beef Pot Pie. It in a ration, guys, there's a freeze-dried pot pie entree in an Arctic field ration, and it's freaking awesome. Uh, fourth one, we had a customer call me, I don't know, probably five, six weeks ago, or he might have texted me. And I'm pretty sure we talked. No, we, we were texting. It was a pretty lengthy text conversation. He asked me, he says, you know, Bob, I, I, my favorite breakfast is steak and eggs, and I went, dude, easy peasy. Steak and eggs, freeze-dried, guys, May ration. 
made special rations, steak and eggs freeze-dried. So that is four individual single meals, uh, all AFRs, they're the May specials. We have 100 of each of those. Then we got the 24-hour Arctic Field Ration May special. Guys, there's, God, I can't remember. It's either 50 or 60 of these made. It's on the website. Super excited about this. Everybody's uh, favorite non-egg, non-meat related breakfast, chocolate muesli with milk. Super excited about that one. Pulled pork is the lunch. Asian style beef and broccoli in sauce. Guys, you don't have to mix up a separate sauce for this one. Asian style beef and broccoli in sauce. Yet another one of Justin's creations and he is phenomenal. There's either 50 or 60 of these on the website. They're on there now. Jack of Trades, I'm saving the best for last, by the way. Jack of Trades, I sent him a couple kits the other day um, as a phase four of our uh, you know, prototype phase four. He looked at, I think, let's see, I sent him the brew kit and the fire kit, so we'll do those first. So we've got some new kits, right? Uh, we did make some improvements off of the ones Jack of Trades said. That's the whole reason why we do prototypes, phase fours, when we send them out to different people that do a lot with survival kits or food kits or whatever, they go over them, they check them all out and everything, awesome time, right? So <clears throat> we made a couple improvements, and some of them are based off of what Jack of Trades has said on the brew kit. On the fire kit, he seemed pretty happy with the way the fire kit was, but we made some improvements anyway. So first of all, you got a slide top, right? Slides off, so you don't have to worry about those flip top tins opening up in your pocket. So right off the bat, in the fire kit, we have some jute twine, great tender. By the way, the tops, guys, you can polish those tops up, turn it into a mirror, but it's a great reflector as it is. Uh, we have the new Minotaur Trading Company, wood matches. Pretty happy about that. Pretty happy. Um, we have the ferro rod. We have four of these little tender quick fire tender, cotton fire tender tabs. I keep dropping them, but there's, I don't know if y'all can see that. There's four of those. Pencil sharpener. Everybody says, Bob, why do you put a pencil sharpener in your fire starter kit? It's very simple. You take a small twig, stick it in it, twist it a couple times. You get some really thin tender and the inside of the wood's always drier than the outside, right? So you're almost always guaranteed dry tender on the inside of a stick. So use the the uh, pencil sharpener for that. I'll also point out that is a metal, not a plastic pencil sharpener. So pretty good quality. We have the two first aid burn creams because in every fire kit you need burn cream because like my daddy used to say if you play with fire you're gonna get burnt. And then in the bottom we have the Fresnel lens magnifying glass which for old people like me this comes in handy for other reasons. The other two improvements we made is you never know if it's gonna be nighttime you dig around your fire starter kit we include two mini chem lights. We actually put them in almost all of our kits now. So two mini chem lights. That's the fire starter kit. Pretty excited about that. It's on the website now. In the brew kit, right? So we got the brew kit here. Let me show you the lid to the fire kit. There's your fire starter kit. These are on the website under survival and medical. We have the brew kit. Again, slide top right, and this thing is packed full. Now, Jack of Trades says that Tasha's Choice Classic Roast is his third favorite. You get a pack of those, but he said his favorite was the hazelnut, so improvement on the kit, why we send it out. We got hazelnut in there, so you get two coffees, one hazelnut, one regular. Uh, we have the two light sticks, chem sticks, because you never know, it might be, uh, might be nighttime, you know, when you're doing your, um, when you're trying to get your coffee brewed up. At Jack's recommendation, Jack of Trade's recommendation, we have three sugar cubes. We have only two creamers. I just couldn't fit the third one in there. We, for our English friends across the pond, we have a English breakfast tea. Look, guys, they just come with a tea bag. It could be any tea bag. It's a tea bag, right? Um, I'm not. Not all of them will have English breakfast in it. And then you have not one but two packs of chicken bouillon. So all of that's in your brew kit. Pretty awesome little kit. Super excited about that. The next, I'm going to say the first aid for last. The next one is our water purification kit. Again, slide top 10. Pull the slide off. You have a water carry bag, either, either one two-liter water carry bag or two one-liter water carry bags. We ran out of the two-liters. So 
You have uh, not one, but two of the banana bags. You have your instruction sheet, and then you have 20 water purification tablets. So you can, 20 times you can uh, uh, purify water. I'm pretty sure those water tabs only do, you have to read the instruction sheet, but I'm pretty sure they only do one liter each. So yeah, so everything you need for a, a uh, rehydration kit, water purification rehydration kit, right here in this little slide top tin. Once you open it, it's difficult as all get up to put back. The brew kit, I mean the hygiene kit, is really hard to put back together after you open it. But of course, you're not going to open it until you need it, and then you're going to use some of the stuff out of it, right? So there's the water purification kit. Next one is the hygiene kit. Guys, I am super stoked about this hygiene kit, in my opinion, in my most humble opinion. Y'all know Black Dog Bob, super humble, right? Anyway, in my most humble opinion, the hygiene kit, just the absolute best hygiene kit ever. Again, slide top, pull it off. You have one, two chem lights, right? You have the <clears throat> personal cleansing washcloth with lanolin and olive beer from Reassure. You have a fresh mint toothpaste. You have two toothbrush, toothpick, toothbrush combos. These are the ones that have the little burst of uh, toothpaste inside of them. You have a package of conditioning shampoo, so you got something to wash your body with, something to wash your hair with, something to scrub your teeth with, and then you got a couple of those dental flossing <clears throat> toothpicks. So all of that is in your, your uh, hygiene kit, right? The last one, extremely excited about this for a pocket first aid kit, guys. This one's, this one's pretty awesome. So there's your pocket first aid kit. Inside, loaded, aspirin. For those that are allergic to aspirin, non-aspirin. We have two sterile alcohol wipes. We have diatame, which is like um, uh, Pepto-Bismol. We have two sting relief pads. In case you get stung by a bee, we have oral pain relief. We have antacid. We have cold relief. We have another uh, first aid burn cream. Dropping stuff again. What you don't see in most uh, pocket first aid kits is an inhalant. Somebody gets knocked out, you pop it, they wake up. You get four sterile bandages. Four sterile bandages. You get two dental flossing toothpicks in here as well, because hey man, first aid for your teeth too. And what I hardly ever see in any first aid kit, you get two single use packages of sun lotion, sunscreen lotion. So all of that, that's a massive first aid kit massive massive first aid kit all of that comes in your first aid kit so there's our new tins jack of trades did a video with two of them um, i'm sending some to some other folks they're on the website now sorry for the length of this video it's getting crazy but the good stuff is here so check this out guys super excited about this last one about a year and a half ago you know it's stepped back april 29th i was exhausted right i was worn out we Guys, I was coming in seven days a week making three to 500 rations, you know, and, and you run out of drink mix. You got to go make 500 drink mix. You run out of snacks. You got to go make three different snacks, 500 of each. It's just crazy, right? Then you run out of accessory kits. You're like, oh my God, I got to sit down and go through all these accessory kits. Speaking of accessory kits, guys, I know my spoon's crappy. I got to keep my cost of my accessory kits under a dollar. It's just that simple, right? The spoon I use in my accessory kit costs me... 3.2 cents. The MRE spoon cost me 58 cents. It's $580 for a box of a thousand of these landed, right? 58 cents a piece. Obviously, if I'm paying 3.2 to 3.4 cents a piece, depending on whether you get the spork or the spoon, and my cost of, of accessory kits right now is around the 79 to 82 cent range, if I put in a 54 cent spoon, a 58 cent spoon, I'm over a dollar, which means now at a dollar thirty, I gotta raise the price of every ration by sixty to seventy-five cents. So the same people that complain about my spoon are the same people that if I raise my rations by seventy-five cents to a dollar, are gonna complain about the cost of my rations going up. It's crazy. Anyhow, you run out of stuff, man. You just so I stopped doing all of that, right? We stopped making all the crazy stuff. What's cool about that? 
is I took five days off. I hadn't, I can't remember the last time I took five days off in a row. I shot that video, I uploaded that video, I got in my car, I headed to a condo in Florida the friend of my wife's gave us for the week. I was there for five days, four nights, I came back totally refreshed, and in the 10 hour drive home, I'm rattling off notes to my wife. She's frantically making notes, right? Because when I'm driving up is when I do my best thinking. There's all these projects have been sitting on the back burner that I couldn't do. So I know a lot of y'all, when I did that video on the 29th, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I heard from so many of you about, you know, <clears throat> that, that, um, that video thinking I was going out of business, which I'm not, you know, but concerned about my health. I appreciate y'all. God, the number of text messages and phone calls I got that Thursday and Friday from y'all just concerned about me. I, I felt the love, right? And a lot of people thought I was closing the door, so there were a lot of people that were pretty upset about that. But here's the thing, guys. So what if you can't go to our website and buy a variety case anymore after these run out that we've currently got? What you're missing is by not being bogged down doing all of that stuff, I can spend so much time in my lab creating some pretty awesome stuff. So story time about a year, year and a half ago. I'm sitting around with a couple of ration reviewers, a couple of a couple of our community members that love rations. We were all sitting around, literally around a campfire eating rations. One of the guys, I forget who it was, you'll know who you were because I'm talking about the night we were all together, right? So if it was you, text me, go, hey man, that was my idea. I'll send you one for free. But I know who was there that night. I just can't remember who it was that said that. So if you weren't there, don't try calling me and saying, hey, Bob, it was me because I know who was there. Anyway, we're all sitting around this fire and one of the guys goes, man, wouldn't it be awesome to have some modern day K rations? Can, can you do something like that? And I went, dude, I'm not going to do any historically accurate reproduction on stuff. He goes, no, 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 I'm not talking about that. He goes, what if? Now, granted, we'd had a couple cocktails. We were, we were buzzing a little bit. You know, I'd, I'd had maybe three or four Bacardi and Coke in me by that time. But he goes, what if the United States military was using the same technology for rations today that they were back during World War II? He goes, can you do like a retro ration? And I went, oh my God. Oh, what a great idea, right? So for the last, I don't know, six, seven months, whenever I had opportunity, whenever the thought would pop in my head about the retro rations, I would call like History Savior or Old Smoking. I've talked about it a couple times. <clears throat> uh, Shocker 71 and I, we've talked about a couple times. I'm pretty sure I talked about it with Mad Dog a couple times. But to come out with a retro K ration, right? Modern day ration, not historically accurate reproduction, Modern day ration predicated off of the K rations. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I give you ration top retro K breakfast K ration. Oh, but that's not all, that's just the breakfast. That's just the breakfast. Well, what, what, what you gonna do for supper, Bob? What, what you gonna do for supper, Bob? Retro ration, retro type, I'm sorry, ration type, retro K, retro ration, supper! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Ain't done yet. Ration type, retro K, dinner. Guys, we got our first three menus out. These are not historically accurate reproductions. These are definitely not actual K rations. These are retro rations. I mean, imagine if, if the military was using the same technology today that they did 60, what, 80 years ago, right? So I'm sending the breakfast one tomorrow, next day air, to, to History Savior, because he loves spam, and the breakfast is spam. So check this out, guys. Woo, look, it even says, look, read here. Pause your screen and read that. I'll read it to you real quick so I don't have to pause the screen. This ration is not a historically accurate reproduction. It's intended to be a modern-day retro K ration. What would a K ration look like today if the military was still using that type of technology in its rations? This ration is one of the concepts we came up with. I hope you enjoy this ration as much as we enjoyed creating it. Dig it. So the breakfast comes with two Spam slices. It comes with 
an FRH to heat your spam with. Guys, these new crackers, Jack of Trades was the first to see them. Sky Flakes crackers. I don't know if you've had Sky Flakes crackers before. They're made in the Philippines. I was in the core in the 80s and 90s. I miss, I really miss the, the salted MRE crackers. They looked like a giant butter cracker, but they tasted like a buttered saltine. And guys, that's exactly what the Sky Flakes are. They look like a big butter cracker. They taste like a buttered saltine. I love these. You get four of these in the breakfast. You know, I need to put this stuff over here so I keep it separate. You get your MRE spoon, two hot sauce, 10 water purification tablets, a Roshan dark chocolate chocolate bar. Oh, gotta have you John Wayne. You get a P58 John Wayne. Your drink can, right, drinks, comes with four 8-ounce cold drinks and two 8-ounce hot drinks. So you get six drinks in your drink can. Four cold, one hot. <clears throat> the snack, now look guys, we got a ton of different snacks, right? Each snack can has two packages inside containing a one-third cup of a snack. But it's all different variations. And when you get the snacks, you don't know what's inside till you open that lid, right? It could be chocolate-covered sunflower seeds, or uh, smoothie snack blend, or chocolate-covered espresso beans, or peanuts, or corn nuts, or mixed nuts, or classic trail mix. You don't know. I don't know. It's in the snack. And we will be selling these eventually on the website. They're bad at... Uh, I can't cuss anymore. I'm sorry. They're BA. They're very cool. Crackers and jam, you get 10 individual, uh, or you get a packet of 10 crackers inside. Um, some of them are ginger snaps, some of them are molasses crackers, uh, some of them are saltine crackers, like a Ritz type cracker. Uh, you never know. And then you get um, some type of, yeah, I think you get a packet of the icing, you get some type of jam or jelly. And then the last is the accessory kits, guys. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. These accessory kits, I'm going to open this one. I know it's a long video. Y'all going to dig this, though. This is the most comprehensive accessory kit I've ever done. Ever. I just kept sticking stuff in it until I finally had the can full. Look how full that can is, right? Huge. Huge. So in this, one, two sugar cubes. You get one, two, three packs of Tasty's Choice Coffee. You get a box of Minotaur Trading Company wooden matches. You get two salt, two lifesavers. There's another one. Two peppers. Ah, get all this stuff out of here. You get two wet wipes. One, two, three sugar packs. Three creamer, non-dairy creamer packs. Two true lime packs. It's still coming, guys. You get two more of those 8-ounce drink mixes. Let's see, I already talked about the salt. You get a beef bouillon cube. You get a chicken bouillon cube. And in case you're doing all of this at night, you get two Kim lights. Guys, that is the absolute most comprehensive accessory kit ever. All of the, the breakfast, the supper, the dinner, they're all on the website under Retro Rations. They're all identical except for the entrees. In the dinner, we have the corned beef hash for our good friend Smokey. We couldn't do the freeze-dried corned beef hash, so we made a World War II Retro Ration. Ration type Retro K. Dinner. Corned beef hash in the dinner. In the supper, again, everything the same. You get the roast beef, roast beef, right, huge can. They all come with the P58 John Wayne's. They all come with the same accessory kits. You never know what snacks you're going to get. You never know what drink mix you get. All you know on the drinks is you get four 8-ounce cold and two 8-ounce hot. On the snacks, all you know is you get two one-third cup packages in each can. On the crackers, all you know is you get six or, or ten crackers plus or ginger snaps, some type of cookie, plus the jam and the icing. The accessory kit's awesome. You also end up with four packs of the Sky Flakes crackers in every one. Guys, that is one of the most spectacular things I've ever done. It's super fun to make. I've had a great time. I've taken enough of y'all's time. Go to the website, coupon code MAY30. All of these great rations 
all brand new. I'm still giving you a 30% off coupon code, May 30, 30% 30 off your entire order. Guys, I'm Black Dunk Bob. I love each and every one of you. I am so refreshed from so much time off, but at the same time, y'all killed it with the orders. We've been busting butt to get them out of here. We're finally down at the 100 mark. I'm hoping to be caught up by Wednesday through Friday of last week. Guys, I'm not Amazon. I don't, I don't ship you stuff in two days. But when you do get a box, look, one last thing I want to say. Here's your life lesson, guys. In life, you are going to find everything you're looking for. Okay? There are those that look for every excuse to succeed. And there are those that look for every opportunity to stop. Two different types of people. There are those that look for every excuse to be happy, and there are those that look for every opportunity to complain. When you open a box from MRE Nation or Minotaur Trading Company, depending on what you are looking for, you will find it, I guarantee you. When you open that box, if you're looking for something to be happy about, you're going to get happy, 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 happy. If you're looking for justification to complain, you're going to find it. And if one more person calls me, if the, ugh, the next one, oh my God, the next person to call me at 4.15 in the morning to tell me he loved my ration, but he hated my spoon. Seriously? Seriously. 4 o'clock in the morning is a reason to call somebody over a spoon? Oh, I'm tired of hearing about the spoons, guys. It's a spoon. It's a spoon. If you don't like the spoon, go in your kitchen and get another one. It's a spoon. They're all over the place. I'm Black Dog Bob, and I love y'all. I'm sorry I ranted about that, but the spoon thing's really kind of uh, digging into my skin a little bit. Check out the new Retro Rashes, the new May Specials, the May 24-Hour. Congratulations to all of our winners of the contest. I'm looking forward to meeting as many of y'all as I can this year when we do our mini meetups. Six different locations. One a month, starting in July, running through December. Vegas, baby, is going to be in December. You know I'm going to love Vegas. All of our new kits, the accessory kits for the, the retro rations are just freaking outstanding. Thank you to all of our, our YouTube guys and our customers that, that took the phase four of the prototypes of some of these different things and checked them out. History Savior, I'm sending you the Spam Breakfast. Old Smokey, I'm sending you the... the um, Corned beef hash dinner and shocker when you're up here this week and you and I are going to bust into that retro ration K supper and eat that roast beef. It's going to be a great time, y'all. I love you. Go to the website. Get you some stuff. Limited edition on all of the May specials. Only 100 of each. The May 24-hour special is either 50 or 60. 30% off. Use coupon code MAY30. Get you 30% off. That's M-A-Y-3-0. No spaces. Get you 30% off. I love y'all. I'm Black Dog Bob. I'm out.